time babes so we are back i know but I'm, I'm i'm doing good so far because last time i saw y'all was six days ago and i told y'all that i would be coming back with more videos about me moving and so today as you could tell by the title we are doing an apartment shopping haul i am going to show y'all everything that i purchased my apartment um i have not relocated yet again i don't relocate to atlanta georgia um until december 13th 13th blah, 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 blah. the 13th is the official date that I will be moving my little truck on up out of Jacksonville Florida and moving on to better things Bye. but yeah so December 13th so but I have been purchasing items along the way because I don't want to have to buy so much at one time when I finally get there I want to kind of just be able to focus on working you know being comfortable at home but at the same time I don't want to buy all this stuff now no yes I do I'm not <laughs> I want to get everything now just because I like I want to just be able to go in my apartment and unpack everything put everything where it goes of course some stuff I may not have right away but like I'm gonna already have my bed set my couch like my rug like everything is gonna pretty much be i already have the guy coming to install my tvs like i'm trying to get everything together because when i get in there i want to be comfortable and relaxing what it is okay we are about to get into this stuff because y'all i'm not really into interior designing so i just picked the color scheme of navy blue white and gray and a little silver somewhere in there and then that's just what we're gonna go with or navy blue and gold. What y'all think? Comment below tell me what y'all think. Navy blue, white, and silver. Or navy blue, white, and gold. Navy blue, gray. What I'm saying? Navy blue, gray, and white. And silver. Or navy blue, gray, white, and gold. Boom. So, that's the color scheme I'm going with. So, let's just get into it. Bump all the talking. Bump all the rambling. Let's get into it. I went to a couple of stores over the weekend. I went to Walmart. I went to Home Goods for the first time and I fell in love with Home Goods. And then I went to Walmart Home Goods. I think that's it. Let's get into it. So, first, I have these beautiful, nice, and fluffy um, navy blue pillows. These are going to go on the couch that I have. Um, because again the colors are navy blue gray and white and a little bit of gold or silver make sure y'all comment below and tell me which one so i have um this was a two set pillow like i said i got this um i actually got this from walmart so y'all don't sleep on walmart now like don't get me wrong home goods target at home overstock wait for all those are good but don't sleep on walmart so yeah these two pillows i will eventually get more find more different accent pillows with on my couch but for now we got these so um in this oh tj max that was the other store so i went and got these um fluffy white pillows to go on the couch as well to go with the navy blue remember i said navy blue gray and white so the couch is gray so navy blue and white pillows with a little bit of silver or gold don't forget to comment which one so i got these two um white fluffy pillows from tj maxx i can't quite remember how much they were but they went to 24.99 can y'all see can y'all see 24.99 okay two set pillows this is what it is i like these pillows they're fluffy um so yeah they go on the couch next what else i got oh my god okay so for my kitchen y'all i don't quite have a theme for my kitchen so I just went with, I have stainless steel appliances um, and like grayish, some type of countertop. Yeah, so I just decided to go with black and white in my kitchen, not necessarily the whole navy blue and gray and silver and white and black thing, whatever I said. So we're just going to do the black and white. But first, I have this um, Abby and Sullivan room spray. 
um, from TJ Maxx. This was $4.99. So this is good for like when you're leaving out of the bathroom. I mean, air freshener is good, but this stuff lasts longer. So you could just spray this like, you know, when you're leaving out the bathroom, you want someone to come in behind you. You want them to smell freshness, not your stink. You don't want to smell that. So you just spray. Spray when you come out. This nice little wrap paper. I have this um, little jar thing. Um, so my utensils go in here, my cooking utensils. So my cooking ware, things of that sort. It says my kitchen, my rules. Again, I'm going with the black and the white theme. So this is going to sit off to the side on my counter. We're just going to put the utensils in there and give a nice little decoration, little accent going on. So yeah, that's what that's for. I'm really excited, y'all, because again, I don't do interior design, so I just kind of, you know, went on Pinterest, my favorite, favorite, favorite website for everything, hair, nails, makeup, everything, and yeah. And then too, sometimes if you go in the store, you might find something and say, boom, this is what we're going with, so yeah. Here is my little plant. Y'all, add green to any room, okay? We need our greenery. Little plant was $4.99. $4.99 plant. This is going to go in the kitchen, on the counter, off to the side, or it may go in my windowsill in my kitchen. Then I have this nice little sign. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Save water, drink wine. That's the motto. So this is going to go above my stove. Y'all know what's top of your stove? That little flat piece that's at the top of the stove by the knobs. We're going to sit this baby right up there. Y'all should be visualizing this stuff as I'm telling you. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay. Sorry. So this is going to go on that flat piece at the top of the stove <clears throat> under the cabinets that's this is where it's under the microwave i'm sorry this is going to sit back there nice and pretty this was 9.99 from home goods so yeah i love these little quotes i just love quotes i'm not more of a picture person but you could give me a nice quote on the canvas and i'd be good to go that's that oh my god y'all out of everything that I purchased over the weekend, this is my favorite item I'm about to show y'all. Hold on. My tea kettle! <laughs> y'all, my tea kettle. This tea kettle is so bougie and elegant. This is a nice little tea kettle. I like it because it's a tea kettle. And I'm not really a coffee drinker, so I really don't need a Keurig. But, yeah. I like tea, Ooh, excuse me, or hot cocoa, whatever. So I could put my little water in my bad baby, turn everything on the stove, let it heat up, get my mug in the morning, pour my tea in there, put a little honey, a little lemon, and I'm good to go. This is my favorite item that I bought over the weekend. This was $24.99 from Home Goods. So I am really excited. This is just gonna sit on my stove as well as a decorative piece. It's gonna, gonna sit on the stove and just look cute up there. And then when I use it, I'll use it. But it is gonna sit on my stove because I do have a flat top stove. So this is gonna sit up there nice and pretty. Okay, ready for me to use it. That's that. Now I'm moving on to Walmart. So Walmart, I picked up this handy dandy nine dollar toaster now. Don't be in the comments coming for me by my $9 toaster because I don't use a toaster like that, but I feel like I'm going to need it for something. It's, it's going to be watched. Like, I'm going to want a bagel one morning, and I'm not going to have a toaster, and I'm going to have to be like, dang, I don't have a toaster. So, I said we're not going to spend that much money on a toaster, but this bad baby mainstay, two slices, so you can put two pieces of bread in there, two pieces of bread at a time, two, um, $9, $9. You got your little knob. You can turn your settings up and down, your heat. And that's it. Simple. That's all we need right here. $9 toaster. That's it. That's it. So, eh, 
So what y'all will learn about me as we get to know each other more is that I love, 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 love candles. Candles is like my thing. You wouldn't buy me anything. Just buy me a gift card to get some candles. Or just give me a candle. I'd be... Uh, I'd be good. But it's okay to have air freshener, you know, because you just want a quick little spray, 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 whatever. So this cranberry spray from Walmart, I got it from Walmart for Breeze. It smells so good. So I just got some air freshener, you know, just the, you got to I mean, what house don't have air freshener? I mean, a candle is good, but again, what house don't have air freshener? That's that. Then... By Farberware, I got me some good old measuring cups because I'm gonna be baking and I'm gonna be cooking. I gotta make sure I'm measuring stuff right so I'm not messing up food because you know when you move in with your parents and they be cooking, everybody food be good, but then you go to your place and you be cooking and the food be nasty because you don't be having the right measurements. And yeah, so we gotta make sure we have the right measurements. And so here it is. This was I think like three dollars. So you get all of these different sizes nice set is black um yeah three dollars buy it or don't buy it um let's move on to this bag so i got me some handy dandy dish cloths because again what house does not have dish dish cloths like i just think you need dish cloths like even if you use the little sponges like you just need dishcloths to wipe stuff down so i just got some cheap little dishcloths mainstay no biggie so i told y'all that my colors was black and white in my kitchen as you can see i got my white tea um kettle i got my black and white sign on my stove i got my black and white utensil jar so i got these little black and white um kitchen towels to hang on my stove you know but the oven part that's what he's gonna go right here so I just got these. Nothing fancy. The kitchen, I really wanted it to be modern and chic. <laughs> chic. So I wanted it to be not too much. I don't want no theme in there because I don't want to get tired of looking at it and have to change it. Because I really love some sunflowers. So I thought about doing sunflower theme. But then I was like, no, because then I'm gonna get tired of looking at that yellow and all of that there. So I'm just keep it real basic, keep it real modern and real chic. Like we just gonna go with some black and white bam. So that's what I got. Um, we're gonna save that for later because that goes with something else that i want to show y'all so i went ahead and got me some cleaning supplies y'all let me tell y'all real quick like i love the fact that i'm able to get all of this stuff now and just don't have to rush and do all of this when i get there and be running to the store ripping and running i got everything i need right here i got me some good old fabuloso because your house has to always stay fresh and clean and yeah, what house don't have Fabuloso? Duh. <laughs> Duh. Got some good old bleach because what house don't have bleach? And you need bleach. Dishes to clean with. Yeah, you need bleach. So, got me some bleach. I have me some Lysol Power Toilet Bowl Cleaner. We gotta make sure them toilet bowls stay clean and smelling good. So, got me some of this. These cleaning products were no more between like $2 and maybe $4 at the most. So, in between, that's how much they all were. I got me some good old Great Value glass cleaner because Windex wanted $4 for a bottle of glass cleaner. I'm not doing that. So, yep. Yeah. Um, great value glass cleaner for the windows or anything you may have glass like your center your center tables or dining table if it's glass whatever you have glass you need it so I've never had mr. clean freak mr. clean clean freak deep clean and mist I've never tried this before but um, we're gonna see what it's like it's lavender and it's for the bath, kitchen, and stainless steel, which I do have stainless steel appliances. My refrigerator is stainless steel, my stove is stainless steal, and my microwave is stainless steel. So we are going to see how this works on the appliances and I will tell y'all, update y'all on how this stuff works because we're going to try it out together. So that's that. Then I have some Comet. Now again, what house don't have Comet? 
that's just how it is some stuff that like, is just mandatory like you have to have in your house because what house does not have it like everybody use comment in the tub you're supposed to sit it in there and walk <laughs> and walk away that's it that's how we clean we pour it in this tub sprinkle it and we gone same thing for the toilet you just sprinkle it in there and walk away it cleans itself right right but no like comment with bleach you gotta make sure you got your cleaning stuff on deck because you have to clean before you put stuff in the apartment so like when you walk in you got to make sure you go through and you clean that bad boy down clean all those negative spirits out put some holy oil at that dough and then i can move your stuff in but you got to clean before you move anything in so make sure you have your cleaning products before you go in there that's it okay so down to the last few little items um so it's my favorite time of the year and i said like as y'all as we get to know each other more you're learning things about me but i love 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 the holiday time so that's in time after august so you got the fall for one i love the weather i love winter i just love the 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 the, the ambiance that i get from the second half of the year so thanksgiving you got halloween christmas new year's so that's my favorite time of the year so as i said i've been moving in my apartment december 13th so christmas is the next no weekend after the next weekend so like two weeks away so i wanted my one year old my son like he has to experience christmas and it's my favorite time of the year so i could not move into my place y'all without having a christmas tree and like come on that wouldn't be right right so I got a Christmas tree, as y'all can see. $40 from Walmart. $40. $40 Christmas tree. And this is a nice size. Um, It's six. It's a six foot tree. So it's a nice size for an apartment. Because, of course, you don't want it too tall unless you got high ceilings. So, um, $40 Christmas tree. I went ahead and bought it because when I move in my christmas decorations because i'm already late because christmas decorations really supposed to go up before thanksgiving but because i'm not moving into after thanksgiving i have to make sure i rush and put this bad boy up so we can get our little two-week christmas experience going so that's that then from walmart i found this cute mickey mouse stocking for my baby because he loves mickey mouse and i thought this was really neat because you know you got some parents we ain't even gonna speak on that. What we're gonna say is, I want to always make sure I include my child in anything and everything that is his home as well. He gets to add his touch on what he wanna add his touch on. He gets to say and have his Mickey Mouse throughout the house as he like. It's not all about just keeping it real, you know, elegant because he's a one year old. So with that being said, I have a fireplace, a real fireplace, not the imitations, not the electric. This thing, this, this thing put out real fire okay real fire so i found this cute mickey mouse stocking to hang on the fireplace like look it's just gonna look so nice up there hanging like it was seven dollars i mean i thought that was a little expensive for a a stock uh, um a stocking but it's okay so yeah I went ahead and got him this because it's going to go add to the decor of um, the Christmas decor. So the Christmas decorations, I'm thinking snowflake, snow, white, new, red, new, something of that sort. Not the whole red and green type of thing. So I already saw in Bed Bath & Beyond a stocking that I want to get. I saw one that I want to get for me and him. But he already has one. And I think he would prefer the Mickey Mouse one better over the fluffy gray one that I saw. So we're just going to get me that one. I'm going to let him have his. Again, he's going to always have his little input and touch into the place because that's his place as well. And I want him to always be included in everything. So that's his stocking. So I got that from Walmart. And then, last but not least, I have... Oh, excuse me. I got me some good old, good old Christmas lights good old christmas lights to go on the tree it is the it 
It is a 300 clear mini light. I got the white wire instead of the green wire because we want white, red, new. Remember I said that? Yeah. So, snow, you know. So, I got these lights that go on the Christmas tree. And I'm probably going to put a little string or two on my, um, because my plan for my fireplace, follow me. So, you got fireplace. You're going to have the little, it's the white fireplace. You got the fireplace. You're going to have the little green garland going around the rim. Put a little strip of Christmas lights in there. Let the stockings hang. Put a wreath on the wall. It's going to be so cute. I have it all planned out, y'all. All planned out. So, this is just the beginning of what I bought. I have more stuff that I bought already in bins back there. Like, curtains. I've brought towels and rags. I have lifestyle wipes. I have my, my shower curtain. I have a lot of stuff already, but I still have more stuff to get. I went today and purchased my bed, but I can't um, pick it up until I get into Georgia because they don't have it in stock here. Stupid, right? So, I picked my bed up there. I have to go online and order my mattress. I already have my couch. So, like, yeah. Like, we just moving along. But I told y'all I was going to come back and show y'all, you know, my whole process. And this is a part of the process. So, y'all should, you know, give me a little pat on the back for, you know, being consistent. I'm trying to be consistent with y'all because we're on this journey together. So, comment below some future videos y'all want to see. I will try to keep weekly um, videos uploaded. Things that I do weekly just pertaining to my moving process, my shopping process, everything like that. Thank y'all for tuning in to my video. And be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe because we are now family and friends. And so you have to make sure you turn your notification bell on so you can get an alert when I upload because y'all don't want to miss me, right? Right. So that's it. This is everything that I got from my apartment over the weekend. Oh, 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 before I go, let me tell y'all how I almost missed out on my TV that was really important to me. So I told y'all how I pretty much have everything for my apartment, right? So Walmart had their Black Friday sale online for the 65 inch TV for $228. So let's just say third time's a charm because they restocked their shelves three times in that one night and I was able to get my 65 inch TV on the third try third try but i have to pick it up from walmart so yeah like when i tell you like i pretty much have the bulk of everything i need because yes i need my tv that tv is going to go in the living room i already have a 55 inch tv that's going to go in my bedroom the guy's going to install them um that's my tv so i pretty much have everything for the most part but i'll keep y'all updated as i get more stuff as i go into the stores and spend my money I'm going to bring y'all with me. But that's it for today's vlog. Thank